In this GIMP tutorial I will show you how to create a white round circle over a transparent background for use in video editing. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK. Well, the first thing you'll need to do is come to the very top left of the screen and left click on File. Then left click on New. Now you'll need to make your new image the same aspect ratio or size as the um, video. So because I'm using HD video, mine's 1920 by 1080. If you want, you can increase this size, but the, the proportions must be the same. Um, you can also decrease the size, but for you'll find that the edges of your video will start looking very boxy. So either the same size or increase, So, but the aspect ratio must be the same. Also, make sure you've got this set up as pixels. This is this box here. OK. Now left click on OK. Now the one thing with GIMP, you can't use the eraser or uh, remove the background until you add an alpha channel. So come up to the button here that says layers, left click on layers, and then next to transparency, left click add alpha channel. Come up to the top of the screen again and then left click on select and then left click all. Now if you right click on your image, and then next to edit, left click on cut. And you'll end up with a transparent background. Now another problem I'm going to work out where the middle is. So the easiest way to get around this is to right click on the image, and then next to image, You've got something called guides. Next to this, you've got new guide by percent. Left click on this. Make sure the position is at 50%. And the first one you probably find comes up, it'll say horizontal. Left click on OK. This will give you a line from right to left. Right click on the image again. Then next to image, guides. Left click on guide by percentage again. This time, left click on horizontal, and left click vertical, and then OK. So you'll have a line it's right in the middle. OK. Come up to the circle select. You'll have to actually say ellipse select. Left click on this. Now, the first thing you need to do is you want to keep the same aspect ratio, so put a little top tick in the box that says fixed. Make sure it says 1 to 1. And also decide whether you want to feather the edges. It, it can look a lot better if you feather the edges. So I'm going to just put a tick in the box that says feather edges. And decide on the percentage. Mine comes up at default of 10 and I'm going to leave this as it is. You can play around with this when you're more familiar with what you're doing. Now place your pointer over the middle of your image, hold down your left mouse button and just drag your mouse to increase the size of your circle using the little boxes. So by holding your mouse down over the little boxes and sort of get an idea roughly of the size that you want. So let's go with this sort of size. Now if you hold your pointer towards the middle, hold down your left mouse button, you'll see a little cross come up in the middle. Line this up with the horizontal and vertical lines so it's in the middle. So that's your first thing you're going to do. Now if you come over to the left hand side you'll see a blue and white square. And just between the two of them it says foreground and background colors. Now you can change these around by left clicking on this. Now if you go to your bucket fill tool, it looks like a little bucket, left click on this and then left click over your circle, this will happen. Now you're good to go. 
So come up to the top of the screen and then left click on File. Now you can't save in GIMP, you need to export. So left click on Export and it should come up as PNG and I would leave this at PNG. You can change the format here where it says select file type so you can left click on this and browse through and obviously if it doesn't say PNG then you need to find it here and select it but it should come up as a default as PNG. Then next thing you'll need to do is give it a title so I don't know I'm going to call this something quite simple doesn't have to be anything special and then decide where you're going to save it so let's just bung it on the desktop makes life easy and then left click on export give you a few options here I wouldn't change anything so just left click export and you should find that you've got an image that is round ready to use in your video editor so hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers